In this session, I will show you how to start configuring the ACS stuffs through the scripts. So this diagram having two main components. First one is the fabric access policy and tenant. Under the fabric access policy, there are four blocks. First block contains VLAN, domain and AEP. Second block contains interface policy group that is IPG wherein leaf port policy enables you to specify the port parameters you want to use. Third block is having interface profile and that is used to display the interfaces included in the leaf profile. And the last block is switch profile that displays association between switches and policy group. In this session, we will learn fabric access policies and we'll see how to configure this fabric access policies with the help of Terraform scripts. So we will start with the first block. This block will have VLAN pools, domain and AEP. So we will start with the creation of VLAN pool. So it provides a list of the VLAN pool configured in the fabric. So as we are trying to configure VLAN pool, so firstly open the sandbox epic and check what are the things are required to create a VLAN pool. So the steps to configure the VLAN pool is you need to go and fabric and then access policies and you click on the pools. So now we will see what configuration are required to create a VLAN pool. You right click on the VLAN then you give some name to the VLAN allocation mode and you provide a VLAN range and submit it. So these steps you follow to configure this task. Now I will show you how to create a VLAN using Terraform script. I'll open this URL that is registry.terraform.io once open you will get search option so you need to type vlan in the search box now you will get all the options available related to the vlan keyword click on the aci underscore vlan underscore pool now you will get script of example usage so in the first script it will help you to give the name to the VLAN pool. So first thing in this script is the resource. So we used AC underscore VLAN underscore pool from Terraform resources. And after that you need to give some name to this resource. So in this case name given to this resource is example. Now you can give name to the VLAN pool, description and allocation type like static and the dynamic VLAN. Also it contains the second script which is used for creating VLAN range. Also you can set description allocation mode which is set to inherit and role that is internal or the external to the VLAN. So let's try this script and I will show you how to use and run it. Now before running I would like to tell one thing. This introduces the concept of relationship inside Terraform that are also tied in the ACI fabric. In the case, the VLAN ranges for the ACI VLAN pools are children to the VLAN pools themselves. So we have to link two resources together. 
and now we will have to give name to the resource and then you need to show the relationship between them so i will go into the folder whereby terraform folders and the files are located i'll open the variable file and that will have the login information so i'll going to access the sandbox apex so it will have the details like the username password and the url so i'll open this script here you can see so i set the login information in this script and i'm putting username password and the url and i'll save this file and keep in that folder now there is one more file main.tf this is our main configuration file where we are going to define our resource definition you can see terraform required provider is aci and the source is cisco devnet slash aci and now you are putting details to configure the provider with your cisco apic credentials so provider is aci and the apic username apic password apic url that you have saved it in the variable file so it will take those variable from there and it will not ask you for the credentials at the time of pushing the configuration to the apic so it will take this details from the variable file that is variable dot tf so now i'll delete all the things you just need to keep these two things first one is the terraform required providers and the second one is the epic credentials now i will open that site terraform uh, sorry registry.terraform.io and from there i'll take this script to configure the vlan now i'll copy this script and put it in the main.tf file which is present in that directory from there i will run it so here resource we are using here is ac underscore vlan underscore pool and giving the name example to this resource now we'll need to give the name to this pool so we are giving name example to this vlan pool we are also setting a description so here the description is from terraform allocation mode we are setting static and the rest of the things are optional so next part is resource for creating the vlan ranges so resource name is ac underscore ranges and we are giving range underscore one to this resource after this we need to show the relationship between these two scripts ac underscore vlan underscore pool and this ac underscore ranges so to show the relation so you will need to add this statement so statement would be like vlan underscore pool underscore dn is equal to aci underscore vlan underscore pool dot example dot id so whenever you put this statement the above script will be mapped and associated now the next thing would be to provide the description so here we put from terraform and as we are configuring the vlan ranges so i'll put from vlan range vlan dash 10 to vlan dash 10 so here i would like to use only one vlan in this range to this script next thing would be the allocation mode so here i'm putting inherit and the rest of the things are optional so if you want you can give some name and the last thing is role so 
I'm putting external role to this VLAN. Now we are set to run this script. So let me open the PowerShell. So from there, I'll need to initialize the Terraform. So I'll need to go into that folder where my variable and main files are located. So I'll go into that folder. Then only I'll be able to run the Terraform scripts. So my file is in users and then it is in this folder. I have saved and cloned this folder from GitHub. Here you can see both the files are available main.tf and the variable.tf so now we'll initialize the terraform so this is the command terraform space init so it will so it initialized successfully now i'll need to check the plan what are the changes i'm going to perform here in the script so I run terraform space plan and you can see this is output I'm getting it is showing that you are going to add two things and there are no changes and you are not deleting anything so you are creating the VLAN pool and the VLAN pool ranges if there is any error in the script it will show you now i have opened the sandbox epic once i'll push the configuration i'll need to verify the configuration there so i've just logged in there once again so i'm going into the fabric access policies and then pools and i'll show you the vlans so here we have given the name to the vlan is example so here you cannot see anything so this is my script and the name of the vlan is example so once we push the configuration then you will be able to see the name of the vlan will be example will be created here so i'm going to apply the terraform script so the command is terraform uh, terraform space apply so it will show you the things what you are pushing so this is the output you are getting without any error and it is showing that you are pushing two task vlan pull and vlan ranges so here it will show you you are going to add two things there are zero changes and you are not destroying anything means you are not deleting now the next thing is to push the configuration so it will ask you to enter a value so you type yes and then it will push the configuration to the epic so it is showing that two changes has been pushed to the epic so let's verify on the epic so here i'm getting the newly created vlan that is example so vlan 10 is there in the vlan range and you can see the description is there allocation mode and the role we set external so it is showing all the output so in this way you can configure the vlan through these scripts i hope you like how to configure the vlan pools through this script